Hey guys, welcome back to my channel SAP Agile Learners. Today we are going to talk about formatters in SAP Fiori or SAP UI5. And I hope that you have seen my previous videos. If not, please press the top right icon, which will explain you the concepts of SAP Fiori and tools to develop your own Fiori apps. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And before we started, would like to say thank you so much guys for your support and showing your love because we finally hit the 100 subscriber on this channel. Thank you so much everyone. Now let's get started. So what you are going to learn is formatters in SAP UI 5 and the last SAP UI 5 demo. Formatters in SAP UI 5. It is used for formatting properties of our data model. Also, it returns a human readable text. Next come our SAP UI5 demo. So now let's switch to the Eclipse editor. Here, I have already created a new project called SAL Demo 04. In that, we have files like view, XML, controller.js and we have also a folder called model. So in the project, I am continuing the last project like we did in our previous video in SL Demo 03. So here I just have added this field called status and I have given the value it S for success and status P for pending. Similarly, I have given here and similarly, I have added this in our XML to list status and here is our output that will look like this. So this is the new edit column on which now we will be using the formatter. So Let's create a formatter.js file in your model folder. Just save it, remove this. So the formatter.js file is located in the model folder of the app because formatters are working on data properties and format them for display on the UI. Now let me quickly write some piece of code then I will explain you what I have written. So I'm just defining the same like we have done in our view 01 controller.js file so similarly we have to do here so let me just quickly write this and pause this video so here i have written this code now let me just create a function called status text which we will we'll be utilizing later creating a temporary variable now I will be using the switch case here return so 
and f cases like p then pass status well is equal to pending and return status well and not others then write default and return the same value so this is our formatted dot js code that we will be utilizing later to convert our final output so now let's switch to the controller.js file and before we start in our controller.js file here in formatter we are returning a javascript object with our formatter function inside the scp.ui.define next we will use the formatter file in the controller of the view so this is our controller of the view so here we have to do some necessary changes just like we have to mention the formatter file path like this so underscore demo 04 slash model slash formatter similarly we have to give here the namespace like this so here I have declared the formatter path like this sl demo 04 model then formatter and here I have given the namespace so that we can utilize it later next we have to write this which I will be explaining like formatter here we have used the formatter function within the controller like this formatter colon formatter that is the formatter function and then name of formatter file that is this the controller simply stores the loaded formatter function in the local property formatter to be able to access them in the view now let's go to the view.xml file where we will have to do some changes So everything is same like we did in our last video. Please have a look if you have not seen that. The only thing that we are going to add here is the path name. the formatter column let me just write it then I will explain you what I have written text and the value we are binding here with the value of status whether it is pending or success after that formatter and then we have bind it with our formatter file function name so here we have used the formatter within our view that is the syntax is like formatter colon 
formatter file name dot the function within the formatted file like this status text a dot here in front of the formatted name means that the function is looked up in the controller of the current view there we defined a property formatter that holds our formatted functions so we can access it by dot formatter dot status text now let me just quickly refresh our output so that we can see the changes like where it is s so here it will show the success and in place of p it will show the pending so like from this file so let me just quickly refresh it so here the output has been changed from to success and p to pending by using our formatter.js file so this is what we call formatter in sap ui 5 in the next video we will look at the fragments in sap ui 5 and if you like this video please do like share and subscribe also you can reach out to me on sap.agilelearners at the gmail.com. Thank you and goodbye.